Welcome back to Living Survival everyone. My name is Ben and today we're going to take a look at a product that I've used several times before. I just haven't ever done a video on it. We're going to look at the AquaTabs. It's an affordable, lightweight, easy to store way to purify water in any temperature. No matter where you are, they're light enough and compact enough to store in a pocket, a purse, a wallet. And there's really no reason why uh, everyone shouldn't have these in their kits. I have some in my wallet, for example. I have several strips uh, in other kits that I have. In many other countries, use tablets as their preferred treatment method because they can be stored uh, so easily. You can have a ton of them on hand and you can do a ton of water. Water filters are sort of single use and you'd have to continually use them to fill up even a gallon jug, for example. And if it were an emergency situation, where your municipal uh, water system became contaminated, for example, and you wanted to fill up a bathtub, tablets are really the way to go. So they're really a good thing to have on hand uh, in an emergency, especially in this day and age where we have viruses going around, even in the US, you know, these are able to filter those viruses or purify those viruses uh, within 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water from a local lake here, something I would normally do uh, camping or backpacking, for example, I've got a 0.65 liter, just a standard clear water bottle here. So I'm just going to collect some water. Now you want to make sure that your water is pretty clear. So if you do have to pre-filter it through a um, bandana or something like that or a coffee filter you definitely want to do so so that your water is as clear as possible you can see I don't have uh, much sediment in there and that's gonna make it make me much better off when it comes to purifying this water so since this bottle is 22 ounces or about 0.65 uh, liters I can just take one little tablet here and drop it in and then you just want to uh, place the cap back on and you want to shake that for about 10 minutes. So just sit around and give it a light shake. You want that tablet to dissolve in there and then you wait 30 minutes and your water is ready to drink. So when you purchase the AquaTabs, you can purchase them in different quantities. This is a pack of 100, so 10 strips with 10 tablets in each strip. You can purify 0.75 liters per tablet. So with this tiny little package here, I can purify up to 75 liters of water. So you can see how small, lightweight, and compact it is. And when you open this up, you get the little strips. So again, these strips can be torn off, so you can carry just two or you can carry however many tablets. I usually just carry a, a, a 10 pack uh, right in my wallet. That way I have uh, 7.5 liters that I can purify on the go, something that you can use in an emergency situation or something that you could use if your municipal water goes down, for example. You know, you're gonna be much better off using a treatment tablet with a large quantity of water, maybe filling up gallon jugs, for example. Then you're gonna be trying to filter that water constantly through a water filter. So definitely something to add to your arsenal, add to your kits and uh, something that you can easily uh, store and easily keep on you. Now these have a four year shelf life, so these are gonna expire uh, April, it looks like, of 2024. So again, they probably will last much longer than that. And uh, all you have to do really to make these work is you basically just fill up a water container, pop a couple tablets in, you can uh, add tablets together. So for example, my water container is 0.65 liters. So, you know, really all it's gonna take is one tablet uh, to be able to purify that water. If I had more than that, 1.5 liters, for example, I could just use two tablets. You shake it for about 10 minutes and then you wait 30 minutes and your water is ready to go. Now there are other tablet products on the market which will purify the water. There's also uh, drops such as iodine drops. These are completely iodine free. And several other tablets on the market use chlorine dioxide which will treat in about 30 minutes as well. But if you want to remove things like cryptosporidium, you can be waiting up to four hours for that product to work. Now when it comes to treating and purifying water, you're really looking to purify two or three different things. Most importantly, bacteria that can be found in rivers, lakes, and streams. You're looking to purify bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, uh, cholera, um, 
other bacterias like that. Also protozoan cysts such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Now these haven't been found effective with Cryptosporidium, but they are uh, effective with Giardia. So although these will purify the water and do a, a good job, it would be a good idea if you did have a additional hollow fiber filter, for example, is to do a two-step process and to really filter uh, out the bacteria and the protozoans with the hollow fiber filter and then use the tablet to get rid of any viruses. Now, hollow fiber filters such as the Sawyer won't remove viruses from the water. And again, in today's day and age, you know, never know what is going to be in the water. Uh, viruses such as hepatitis A, norovirus, rotavirus, and other viruses, which this will treat uh, in 30 minutes time. When you get your package, it will come with the information uh, pamphlet or card that comes wrapped around the uh, strips. Now the strips, again, are these are 10 counts. These can be you know, cut into smaller shapes and sizes uh, if you wanted to store them in even a smaller container. But it's gonna give you instructions here on how to use them. Prior to use, make sure all suspended material, uh, it, you remove all suspended material by filtration or allow to settle to the bottom of the container. We didn't have too much sediment in ours, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, then remove one aqua tab from the packet and insert it into 0.75 liters. So you can see that that small tablet will do that water bottle. So if you did have to do large quantities of water, you know, in an emergency situation, uh, this is the way to go. So you shake it for 10 minutes and then uh, let it rest for 30 minutes and the treated water is ready for drinking. Now, if you did want to do water systems uh, at home, for example, that uh, maybe your again your municipal water uh, you filled a bathtub in a in an emergency for example um, and the water's at room temperature you can use uh, one aqua tab per two quarts or half a gallon so you can make the tablet uh, go even further there now again you just uh, you know keep these in a cool dry area away from sunlight and uh, and heat and they will last up to four years so you get um, Again, you get some information about the tablets there um, within your package when you order these. So it's been 30 minutes and my tablet has fully dissolved. Now my water was pretty clear to start off with, but don't let clear water fool you. I noticed there is a dead goose uh, on the shore over there. So any kind of animal uh, feces can hold on to those cysts and hold on to that bacteria and certainly contaminate the water downstream. And also I didn't have a lot of particulate uh, matter in here, things like leaves and other things that can get in the water. So again, you would want to filter that out and not, uh, not consume that. I pretty much know what to expect as far as taste goes because I've used these before, but let's go ahead and give it a taste here. And although there is going to be some sediment in there, maybe, maybe some sand, maybe some dirt, um, if that bothers you, you know, again, filter that out. But it basically just tastes like the bottle. This is a new bottle that I grabbed, uh, a clear bottle so that, uh, you know, I could see uh, what's happening with the tablet and show you guys the uh, clarity of the water so I can really only taste the new bottle sort of taste there is no other taste there's no iodine taste of course there's no overwhelming chlorine taste so that's another reason why I really like uh, these particular tablets is that they're super easy to use and they do a good job of making that water uh, safe to drink so I hope you guys enjoyed that video today and learned something about uh, treatment tablets and the options that are out there. I'll leave a link below where you guys can pick uh, these up if you wish to do so. Again, it's a great affordable item to have on hand and a great addition to your survival kits and just a great addition to have in common places like a purse or a wallet. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Leave me that comment and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you used these? Let me know your opinion. Of course, feel free to share this video with your friends on social media. And if you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure you click that notification bell to be notified of new videos.